All right, yo, 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 my name is Petrowski, and we have a Totodile catching event. That's pretty cool. I know Sethson loves Totodile over here, so it's pretty cool to see it's hosted by him. So this Totodile catching event is going to take place on the 9th of October, which is a Saturday, which is pretty cool. It's going to be at a pretty good time zone as well. Most people will be able to attend this event, which is always cool to see. So Saturday, the 9th of October, 2021, it's going to take place at 8 p.m. CEST, 6 p.m. UTC, and then 2 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be in the safari zone. For those who don't know, Totodile is in a like southeast part of the safari zone. I will link a video in the description um, where I kind of show you all of the starter locations in the game and I'll timestamp where Totodile at is at. So go ahead and check the description if you don't know how to get to Totodile. So it's going to be in Hoenn Channel 1 in the Hoenn Safari Zone. Click the link in the description to check where it's at. Okay, you're going to have one hour to catch as many Totodile and Maril as possible. And then after that hour is over, you're going to have 10 minutes to submit your entry to the moderators. The scoring is going to be total sum of IVs plus nature bonus plus species bonus. There is a huge species bonus for this event. Um, plus 10 for Totodile. That's a massive species bonus. Um, also, this is a really important thing. Um, moving on to nature bonus, plus 5 for Jolly, plus 3 for Adamant. Synchronized Pokemon are going to be interesting for this event. I believe that Synchronized does just work in the Safari Zone, even though you're not really, like, using your Pokemon to catch the Pokemon. So, every, if you're participating in this event, every single person should have a jolly Synchronized Pokemon in the front of their party. Everyone. Because there's just no reason not to, because you're not going to have to, like, switch your Smeardle to, to catch it afterwards, you're going to be like just catching with the Pokeball anyway. So everyone should have a jolly synchronized Pokemon. Some examples of synchronized Pokemon can be Zatu or Kadabra or um, Behem slash El I think Elgium might have it. No, Behem. Behem's kind of slow though. Your best bet is probably going to be Kadabra. That's kind of my go-to. And then Zatu is a good alternative. Anyways, first through third place are going to be sorted from highest to lotus lowest. So make sure, and then fourth place is going to be just the lowest, and then you can always submit one entry. So as per usual, make sure you kind of think about what place you're going to be aiming for. You can only submit one entry, and then fourth place is the lowest score, but then first or third are the highest. So you have to think to yourself, like, hey, what are my chances of winning first through third? Like, how good are they um, with, with, like, a 168 Pokemon? Versus like, hey, like I have like a 55 total store Pokemon. What are the odds that wins fourth place? In that situation, you probably go high. There's no way a 55 score is going to win the lowest. Uh, usually, for to give people an understanding of what the average kind of numbers are, if you don't know or don't participate in catching events, I want to say the average first place Pokemon in most events is around 172 total store. Uh, just a, that's just like an average guess. And then I want to say the average fourth place is around 18 total score, maybe like 20. Um, okay, but keep that in mind and use that information. All Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location. You can't, like, breed a Totodile. It has to be caught in the Safari Zone, and it has to be caught within the hour of the event. They will check your catch times. Don't try to cheat or anything like that. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, or unevolved. I always say just leave all of your Pokemon in the poker boxes in your PC until after the event and then go over head head over to them and then pull them out and submit them to a moderators leave them in there during the event evolved or unevolved forms of the listed Pokemon will not be accepted as entry so don't evolve your Mario don't evolve your Totodile don't train them don't train them until they list the places for the event if you got, if you got like a really good Totodile and you're like hyped to train it after the event and you whisper it to the moderator to, for it to be your entry, but then you, like, train it because you're, like, you know, too excited. Don't do that. Just wait. Be patient. Uh, let them let the, let the tournament end. Uh, you must be the OT of the Pokemon. Your friend can't, like, mail you a Pokemon. You can't mail a friend. You can't mail an alt account and submit it on that. You have to be the one who caught the Pokemon. You must link your enter to participating staff member via whisper, so make sure you type slash whisper in chat and then space and then one of the moderator's names here. So Sethson, Cosmuth, or Broken Bulb. Right here, go ahead and type slash whisper space. And then one of their names in chat. Drag your Pokemon into the chat box. Link it to them. Say something like, my entry, please. Smiley face, thank you for hosting the event. Give them a nice message. 
In the event of a tie, the winner will be determined by the earliest catch. So what that means is if someone catches a 170 toto dial five minutes into the event, and then someone catches a 170 toto dial with five minutes left in the event, uh, the person who caught it five minutes into the event will win. They'll catch it because they caught it earlier. So on the prizes... First place prize is going to be a gift non-shiny toto dial, so just a normal toto dial, but it is going to be six selectable of you, so it could be a super nice 6x31 for alligator comp. For alligator is a pretty damn scary thread in NU, for those who don't know. Setting up like one or even like one dragon dance on a for alligator in NU, he pretty much just wins. Uh, one, one or two one or two dragon dances on a for alligator, it's pretty, pretty difficult to beat. Your choice of nature, four moves, six, six selectable IVs. It's also going to be 1,000 reward points on top of that, all for first place. Second place is going to be 500 reward points, and then third and fourth will both be 250 reward points. All right, that covers everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Leave comments, questions, feedback, concerns in the, in the comments below, please. Uh, go ahead and subscribe for more daily Pokemon content. Ring the bell for notifications for dual uploads every day. Uh, and join the Discord below. The Discord's cool, too. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch below. But Discord, that's the important thing. Come, you know, meet a like-minded community of people who love Pokemon. Want to talk about team building. Want to talk about the market. Want to talk about shiny hunting. Help, we'll help you price check. We'll help you team build. Uh, or just love the game in general. So, yep. Hang out. Peace. Have a good day. Bye.